All right, and we're looking at the numbers. We're going to be writing in the modern style. All numbers will be the same size, starting at the waistline, going about a third into the ascender space. The one has a slight instroke and a dynamic stem, increasing pressure towards the baseline and making sure to square off. The two starts with a small curve. Remember to come all the way over. You want to think about the 55 degree box and then end with a little wave that we know from the tops of the T. The three has a small curve that transcends the waistline and then the lower curve is a little larger than the first one. And again, remember to follow the 55 degree slant. The four starts just above the waistline, come down to the middle of the X height in a light downstroke and a light cross stroke, and then add the dynamic stem towards the baseline, squaring off the bottom. And then the five is done in three different strokes. We have one downstroke crossing the waistline, and then we curve up slightly, increasing pressure for the bowl, curving around, and then adding a little um, kind of hyphen at the top. Remember, all the cross strokes are going to be very light. The six is done in two strokes. You have one large curve, and then the second one starts in the center of the X side, curving the other way around. So you're building it in two strokes, and that bowl is about three quarters of the X height. The seven starts again, light up, light over, and then following the slant line in a dynamic stem. And the eight is done in one stroke. You want the upper bowl to be a little smaller than the lower bowl, and you want the pressure, the the downstroke line, to follow the 55 degree slant. So I'm I'm not very happy with this one. Let's try that again. Small bowl, be almost vertical in the downstroke, and then cross with a light upstroke just below the waistline to get those proportions correctly. The nine is also done in two strokes, very much like a six, only the other way around. This time you're going to start with the smaller curve first and then add the larger curve second. And the O is the oval that we know, except it's also built in two curves so that there is equal downstroke weight on both sides. And I'm going to show you another version now also that is a little rounder just for comparison, because we want to, of course the size is different than the oval, but we also want to make sure that there is no ambiguity when we're looking at zeros next to O's. And those are your numbers.